In step one of the Trademarkia workflow, you are asked whether you are trying to protect a name, slogan, or logo. A name is a word or set of words identifying the source of a particular product or service. For example, think of the shoe company Nike. A slogan is a phrase that identifies a business's mission or branding message. For example, Nike's slogan is, just do it. A logo is a visual representation that distinctly identifies the source of a particular business's product or service. For example, Nike is represented by the swoosh logo. Here, you can upload your logo from your hard drive. Once uploaded, your logo will be visible on our site. If you have selected a logo, you are also asked to describe everything in the logo, what colors are displayed, what numbers are visible, how many of each element is visible, an attorney in the Trademarkia network will do a final check for accuracy. The next step is to sign in by creating an account. This provides the ability to return to an unfinished application if needed. You do this by entering your email and creating a password. When you save and continue, you will move on to the next step. Are you currently using your trademark on a product or service that is currently publicly offered for sale? If you are not currently using your mark in commerce, then you can assert your good faith intention of using the mark in the future by clicking No. If you do plan on using it in the future, please answer exactly how you are planning to use the trademark. You may be required to pay additional fees to submit proof of your use when you begin using your trademark in commerce. If you are currently using your mark for goods or services that are publicly for sale, please answer Yes. What is the date you first started using your mark inside your company? In other words, what is the conceptual date? What is the date of first public use in commerce? Please indicate when you first began to sell your goods or services under this trademark name. Question 3. Please provide examples of how you are using your trademark. You can submit an image of the tag or a label, or a photograph that shows the mark affixed to the particular goods. Invoices, bills, and business cards may not be acceptable specimens for products. You will be informed if your proof is insufficient. If your trademark represents a service, submit a specimen that includes the use of the mark in conjunction with the description of the service the business provides. For services, acceptable specimens include advertisements, signs, or business cards that show the mark in connection with the service. There must be some reference to the type of services rendered on the specimen, not just a display of the mark itself. If the mark that's sought to be registered is XYZ, a business card with only the mark XYZ is not sufficient. A business card that says XYZ real estate, however, may be acceptable. It's important that you answer these questions truthfully. If you don't, it is possible that someone could challenge the validity of your trademark rights. If you have additional proof, you can email it to us at customer.service at trademarkia.com within 12 hours using the same email provided at login. Please refer to your order number whenever you send us any correspondence. If you don't have proof, you can always submit it later, but remember to change the choice at the top to no. Who owns the trademark? This can be the name of an individual or an organization. An organization is a business that is formed and recognized by a Secretary of State. If your entity is not yet formed, you can file in the name of an individual and later assign the trademark rights to the business entity once formed. For an individual, you will put your first name, last name, citizenship, street address, city, state, zip code, phone, and fax number. This is important so that others can identify the trademark's ownership. If for an organization, provide the organization's name with the corporate designator, such as Inc., LLP, or Limited, if applicable. Then your street address, city, state, zip code, place of incorporation, particularly the state you're incorporated in, or your country for an international incorporation. Next, list the contact name of the person responsible for the trademark. Then, list the business title, phone, and fax numbers. Click Next to proceed to the following step. Identify the products or services that are currently represented by your trademark. This is the classification of the trademark filing. The Trademark Office considers whether existing trademarks could confuse consumers into thinking they have one set of goods and services when they really have another. Only list the goods and services that your brand offers. Government fees are charged for each classification and government fees in the U.S. are $325 per classification. It may help to think of famous brands using trademarks for purposes similar to yours. 
By searching for them on Trademarkia, you can locate which classifications they have chosen and use those as a guideline for your own application. You can also start by searching for the most appropriate class. If your trademark will represent a t-shirt company, you may type t-shirt. If nothing is found, it is advisable to use a more generic term, like shirt. Once you click search, a result will show up below with a list of possible choices. Please indicate which class best represents what your trademark represents. Please click the checkbox to indicate your selection. You can also just directly select. If you're a production company, then you'll see different types of production, radio, television, in class 41. Also, you can uncheck if you decide to file in fewer classes. When finished, click Next. For each of the classes selected, describe in detail the products or services your trademark will represent. Be as accurate as possible. There is no length restriction, but accuracy is important because the law firm representing you will use this description in the trademark filing. The government may not let you broaden this description later without you refiling your trademark application. However, the description should not extend beyond instances where you actually use your trademark. When finished, click Next. Do you want to publish your trademark rights on Trademarkia, or do you want to pay government fees and register your trademark? If you decide to publish, users will be able to search and find your name on Trademarkia, the largest trademark search engine in the world. This publication will help establish simple common law rights by creating a public notice of your trademark. It will not be registered by the government. If you select to pay government fees, your mark will be eligible for government registration, the strongest form of protection. The government fees are paid to the government and are paid separately from the preparation fee that goes to Trademarkia. What country are you seeking trademark protection in? You will have the option to pick the United States, another country, or multiple countries. If you have filed previously in another country, indicate which country the mark was first filed with and whether the mark was filed within the past six months. If you would like to file in multiple countries, click Yes. Note that each country has its own fee schedule. Not sure? Click Maybe Later. Click Next to go to the following step. The terms and conditions give power of attorney to the law firm of Raj Abiyankar PC to represent you in U.S. federal trademark matters. Their firm will keep your money in a client trust account until they have performed the legal services you requested. You can see a full-size view of those terms, print them, or have them emailed to you. Here, you may choose your preparation package. With the gold package, a U.S. trademark attorney will closely review your submission and provide a consultation to ensure that all of your trademark questions are answered. With the standard package, the U.S. attorney will rely on what you submit and will prepare your trademark application for filing based on the information that you've provided. The plus package includes everything in the standard package plus notice monitoring. The law firm will provide notifications whenever new action is needed for your trademark application. Click here to see how the costs have been calculated both in terms of government fees and in Trademarkia's service fees. You can also choose to publish a copyright notice on the Trademarkia website to express your intention to enforce claimed copyright rights associated with your business. You also have an option to reserve your trademark name on the top 28 social media websites. Next, proceed to the payment screen where you can pay by credit card, PayPal, Google Checkout or Check. Thank you for choosing Trademarkia for your trademark needs. If you have any questions, please email us at customer.service at trademarkia.com. Thanks for watching.